And given all of the tumultuous goings on around the world and major markets starting to see things like trade tensions reflected in stock prices, here to tell us is Melissa Armo, the CEO and founder of the Stock Switch. Melissa, always a delight to have you. A, a lot of folks may have thought that these trade war wars were sort of a passing thing, uh, maybe a little bit of reality TV from Mr. Trump's part. But with 200 million in tariffs and the Chinese responding, uh, this gets to be what Everett Dirksen, the senator, uh, used to say, uh, gets to be real money. Are market participants really starting to feel this now? And is it being reflected in stock prices? Well, I actually don't think there was any ever a time to not be concerned about tariffs because all along for the last few months, the market has reacted very negatively whenever anything came out about more tariffs being put on. It's this this tit for tat back and forth between China and and the U.S. And so I, even though we rallied last week, it was a holiday week. And I really didn't expect it to continue. So I wasn't surprised. We were down really big last night in the post market after hours. And then we gapped down this morning in the market. And it took pretty much all day to fall, but we did fall. And I think tomorrow you could see more volatility. I truly believe that July is going to be a very, very volatile month in the market. I said it for the last week. We have the NATO summit. We have Trump meeting with Putin next week, the tariff war going on or the trade war. I'm telling you, there's just one thing after another. And the market market has not been able to get out of this range. It hasn't really fallen hard, but it hasn't broken higher. I'm talking about the Dow and S&P. I know that the Nasdaq has rallied, but that's really because Apple and tech has led the way. And, and, and the tech stocks actually rallied today, but banks were down again today. And overall, a lot of stocks were down today in the U.S. market. And it was because of the fact that they're worried about what's going to happen going forward with tariffs. You know, I'm going to ask you a, a, a question, and it may be sort of an ill-informed question, so just tell me if I'm wrong. That's okay. I'm wrong all the time. Uh, so, you know, in a holiday week, I always thought that there was a lot more volatility because not a lot of people were trading, people were taking off, et cetera. And then usually like on the Monday, like the Monday or the, the, the Wednesday after the Tuesday Labor Day and maybe the Monday after a holiday like Fourth of July here in the States, that maybe there was lighter trading and therefore more volatility. On Monday, we saw these bank shares really rise, and I'm wondering if that does liquidity have anything to do with it, or are maybe even the financial sector, the banks, starting to feel some of these trade tariff tantrums? Well, honestly, the banks haven't looked good for a while. I've said that all year. They've been holding their uptrends, but all in all, the banks have not been performing. Last earnings season, the banks gapped up and fell on the earnings, even though the earnings were good. A lot of them reported good, but then they fell. They sold off. That's not what you want to see. What you want to see on Friday morning, a lot of the banks report the big ones, J.P. Morgan Chase, Wells Fargo, Citibank. The big ones report on Friday morning. What you want to see is good re a good report with a strong move up in the pre-market, and then you, you need these charts these banks to rally, rally on the day. But the problem is, because of everything that's happening in the overall market right now with tariffs, I'm not sure if we see a negative reaction carry through from today, today's Wednesday, tomorrow's Thursday, Friday morning, the banks report. If this sell-off continues from today until the end of the week, I don't even know if the banks are going to do it. In other words, if they're going to lift the market really up. And, and if we didn't have this tariff thing going on and the banks did report good, it might lift the overall market. But uh, to be honest with you, it's just the timing of this July. I would... July is not a month where I'd be wanting to heavily go long in anything necessarily. Even the strong stuff, even even the tech stocks, I wouldn't be taking new positions in anything like that right now in this month. Melissa, we so appreciate you being with us. We'll be watching the markets. We'll be thinking about you and what you've told us. Melissa Armo, the CEO and founder of the Stock Swoosh. Melissa, thanks very much. Thanks. Good luck. Thanks.